Hello! By the end of this video, I will share with you how I was able to write some code to automate most of the repetitive tasks of my day-to-day -day work. My name is Luca Burton and I was a system administrator like you, working hard all day. We live in a very fast-paced world nowadays. The keywords are automate, innovate and accelerate. The velocity is today's mantra. There is a huge trend in the IT industry right now, and it is IT automation. Everybody is talking about IT automation, especially in this post-COVID world. 2020 has been a challenging year for many individuals and organizations. But there is a big problem with the standardization of IT automation at the moment. I know how difficult it is to get things done. Deploy the latest service, control the user in your organization, deploy the new server, but most of all, maintain in a consistent state all your entire fleet. There are business critical services that need to be guaranteed because some workflow are essential. But you have only 24 hours per day, don't you? We all know how hard it is to maintain a consistent and up-to-date fleet of servers in the IT world. From the on-premise world to the virtual machine, we saw an explosion of managed systems, especially with the adoption of container and microservice, for example, in the cloud native ecosystem. Agile methodologies and DevOps movement pushed the continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline to be used more and more. Managing Linux system is a big challenge the name of a package are sometimes so different from one Linux distribution to another, even from one release to another of the same Linux distribution. Some useful command line tools are simply not available in another Linux distribution, or they work in a different way or with a different syntax. The configuration file that works in Ubuntu, doesn't work in CentOS or Red Hat Enterprise Linux because sometimes paths are different, for example. Let me give, give you four examples of my struggle. First, I still remember when the C Linux feature was released. It was a step forward in a more armored Linux system some system administrator simply disabled it because it was the easiest way to deploy some urgent service, but they sacrificed the security layer instead. Secondly, system D. It was a very controversial technology, but allowed the management of the service in a Linux distribution in a more modern way. I still remember the flame war in the mailing lists. Most people postponed upgrading system because they were not able to restart the service or access the system log with the system D journal. Thirdly, they shift from IP tables to other firewall management system. For example, Firewall D for Red Hat like System, CentOS, and SUSE, or UFW, uncomplicated firewall for Debian and Ubuntu. Another step forward and another flame war. Fourthly, Network Manager was supposed to supersede the network configuration Linux Geopardy across different distributions, but sometimes overcomplicate the syntax 
for basic when before was necessary only one line in a file. Most of these tasks are mundane and repetitive, so why don't we automate it? We live in a very fast-paced IT world, but move it faster in the last period of time and is accelerated more and more. It's more important than ever to guarantee, for example, that the software is consistent in your fleet, that the latest security patches are applied on time to prevent some thread, backdoors, malware in the systems. Many people write their own script or they found them on the internet. The problem is that the code is not ready to use and not enterprise grade. The code needs some adaptation of the situation you are in right now. If you find the code, or even if you wrote it a few months ago or years ago, you need to invest some time to understand what it's supposed to do and how to customize it. Everything began with some Perl scripts, one-liner, but requires, you know, the one-liner Kung Fu or the power of a regular expression to get script and personalize. Not to mention the complexity of the Perl library's dependency that you need half of a CPAN website on your hard drive. On the other hand, some bash scripts are so spaghetti code and rely on such uh, an amount of external utility that you actually need a setup script before using it. What about when you would like to teach your colleague about these automation scripts? It's complicated! Isn't automation supposed to simplify the complexity of IAT nowadays? Imagine if there is a technology that is already standard, easy to use, that come out the box with many scripts to automate your day-to-day -day journey. Wouldn't you learn and share inside your organization I'm going to teach you how I simplified my system administrator journey by being able to automate most of the mundane tasks. We could also go a step forward to automate the remediation of an incident of the infrastructure. Some people already call this technology GitOps an operational framework that takes DevOps best practices using for application development such as version control, collaboration, compliance, continuous integration and continuous deployment tooling and applies them to the infrastructure automation. Click on the button for further information. See us inside. Bye.